We're in the heart of Basel, at Kunsthalle Basel. And Kunsthalle is positioned quite uniquely just a stone's throw from the Kunstmuseum, neighbor to the Stadttheater, in the very building where the Swiss Architecture Museum and the Stadtkino are located. It's a cultural hub, if you will. Kunsthalle Basel was founded by the Basel Art Association in 1839. It's not a museum in the sense that it doesn't actively collect art, it doesn't have a permanent collection on display, but it does commit itself to making short-term exhibitions, events, performances, projects possible through new commissions with an emerging generation of artists. When you look back into the photo archive, you realize that this has been the place where you know, anyone from Picasso in 1914 had an important solo show, to Jackson Pollock in 1958, to Gauguin, to Giacometti, to Fishley Weiss, uh, to Cindy Sherman, Jenny Holzer, Mike Kelly. It's absolutely extraordinary, the people who had important landmark exhibitions here. Our task here is to give artists the opportunity to experiment, take risks, to make leaps in their practice that wouldn't be possible in another setting. During Art Basel, we'll have two solo exhibitions by two emerging young artists, Rafaela Vogel and Luke Willis-Thompson. Luke Willis-Thompson will have a rather slow, meditative film work, 35 millimeter, dealing with questions of race and representation, as he often does in his practice. Rafaela Vogel is preparing one of her most ambitious projects to date, a wild combination of video, sculpture and installation that will bring you into another world. Kunsthalle Basel has always been a place dedicated to the art of its time. That often means an art of experimental practices, untested ideas, artists that are not yet inscribed in art history. This building and this institution welcomes and challenges artists in the most interesting ways. And our job is to invest in them and to invest in the future.